Broadcasting from the Rookie Kenya. This is the Me and Larry reality video show, LTO. Editorial News, November 2nd, 2010. Super Tuesday in America. Yes, as the rooster crows on that one, it's Super Tuesday, Election Day. I know Americans is getting out to vote. <laughs> but anyway, the thing was, throughout these elections, because what's at stake is the Senate seats, the House of Representatives seats, and in the each state, there's governor and congressman seats in America today. What's happening is, throughout the campaign, you know the U.S. President Barack Obama is going out there trying to support the Democrats since he's a Democratic president. He's trying to support the Democrat in Ohio and plus his majority leader, Harry Reid in Nevada. Now, what's been going on? As I said, the campaign was just slinging mud. They say it was the nastiest campaigning there was in the U.S. I guess uh, MTV was uh, videoing or recording all of this, put it on TV for MTV viewers. I guess they had the show called Yo Mama. And uh, I love it when the uh, people was talk about people's mamas. And so, of course, the, the campaigners uh, who was out there, they got involved. I bet one of them was saying, they were looking at each other like this, and then like this, and saying, your mama's so old, she can't receive pension no more. She can't receive retirement checks. By the time she got her money, Lincoln has d already been dead. And, uh, and Roosevelt already passed away. And then somebody else would say, your mama is so drunk when she said about when Sarah Palin was talking about the tea party, she thought uh, she could go to a bar and say, I want some tea with some rum or some vodka. And then somebody else might be saying, your mom is so dumb. When they said health care reform, she went over there and got herself a cosmetic surgery. <laughs> so... All these yo mama's jokes was involved in the election. You know it. Because they say it's a nasty election. <laughs> and then also they're talking about what's going to be happening in the future of it that it's going to end up being 51 uh, people for the Democrats and 49 for the Republicans. In, for the Senate, and then 2,201 for the Democrats, and 233 for the Republicans in the House of Representatives. So they, what they're trying to do is put the President Barack Obama on gridlock again. And then they want to get him out of there. That's what they're trying to do. So, hey, I'm just going to kick back, enjoy it. They might as well have your mamas on uh, MTV with the candidates. I'll be back with more LTL editorial news.